what if you have that really obstinate child that just <laughs> their life is to make a challenge. They they, they thrive on not participating. <laughs> So as long as you have the image of your child as obstinate and as thriving on making a hard time for you, it's going to be hard for you to connect. So this is the place where I would love for you to really have enough empathy so you're open to communicating differently with your child because it's the place where you're in pain. What I'm, what I'm guessing from what you're saying is there's some fundamental way that you're not really trusting that your needs matter. Is that, is that true? No, I, it doesn't happen that often, but I can just see where there will be times just because they want to say no. So why would they just want to say no? Oh, so. Negative attention. Why? Mm -hmm. Why would somebody want negative attention? I don't believe that's their human need. So you've got to go deeper than that. Because they don't want to do what you tell them to do. Why? Why, my friends? Why would they possibly want to do something on purpose to annoy you? Because they get a reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why would they want a reaction? So they're, they're, they're testing the world. Why the are they of... testing the words? Now come up with some needs here. Because they want to, they want to learn how eventually it is to function as... Okay, so maybe one of their human needs is to understand how to be in the world in the way that works for people, for themselves and for others. Okay. So if their, if their strategy is to say no to everything you say, they're going to pretty quickly discover that that is not the way to have harmony in their lives. Okay. That, that, that can be a self-correcting thing. You notice that when I'm hearing no this many times, I'm starting to get really more irritated. Reveal your unmet needs instead of reacting to their no. Then you will actually give them the education that they're yearning for. Is that clear what I just said? Because that was like a mouthful. No. Should I say let me Let me demonstrate it. So, would you pick up your clothes and put them in the closet? No, 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 Honey, I'm asking you again, would you do it? It's really important to me. No, I said no, no, no. I'm asking you again, would you finish? <laughs> you got one? <laughs> Two. Ah. Double joy. <laughs> so, I might be thinking, with my jackal ears in, that I'm a failure, or I might be thinking that they are oppositionally defiant, or whatever the word is. <laughs> Good word for it. Yes. <laughs> They're just doing this to mess up my brain. They just want to get me mad. They just want to see how I'm going to react. They're just going to get all the juice out of my reacting. <laughs> they need Ritalin. Yes. <laughs> okay, now if I think this way, very soon I'm going to discover that I have switched into this. No need for the ears. No. Here I go. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Can't you just be doing what you're told for once? That's where I'm going to end up. So, what I'd like to do is really work on revealing what is actually going on for me and on understanding what might be going on for my child. So, oh, I'm wondering if you're really frustrated when you hear the request. Is it that you're wanting choice? I don't know. You're not sure. I'd like to connect with you. Would you enjoy my guessing a little more? What? <laughs> <laughs> it really matters for me to understand. How come you're saying no? I really want to understand it. I'm wondering if you'd be willing to tell me. What's going on for you? Oh, yeah, this is a wonderful beginning. Because now you're trying, you know, this is a very different message from you're just doing it to bum me out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm wondering if you're <coughs> kind of confused and curious and if you'd like to understand. I don't know. Wow, I'm really, really interested in this. How would you feel about checking it out a little bit more? 
I guess, okay. I'm wondering if, if there's something about the way I react. If, if sometimes that's kind of fun to watch. <laughs> this is not out of their meanness or, or horrible humanity. It's, it's, you know, maybe it meets their need for play and fun. That's all right. That's all right. Shift your behavior instead of their reaction to it. You know, it's more predictable. And I'm, I'm wondering also if, if you're really curious about how people react to one another. I really want to get that. Mm. I'm still curious. I'm, I'm wondering if part of it is also that you're so much not experiencing choice. You're so, so irritated with that. <laughs> mm. so I bet you're really longing for trust. That you have choice about how, what you do with your time and your body. Do you get the sense of what I'm doing? You know, I'm wondering if you really have a sense that I'm understanding what's going on for you. Yeah. And I'm wondering if you would be open to hearing what's going on for me. <laughs> Again, it's just a feeling of need. Just a feeling of need. Are you worried? You really want to trust that your needs will really still matter? Yes. Mm. You want to be sure that you're not going to be blamed for anything. You just think I'm a horrible person. There's some sadness. You really want to trust that you're loved? Yeah. Hmm. I'm so glad you're telling me. <sighs> There's no rush now. I don't have to convince them anything. Just connect. So we might connect like this for a while longer before they're actually ready to hear me. Because we've been doing a lot of talking to our children. And even though we think we're listening to them a lot, there's a level of listening that's not happening yet. So I'm really betting that this level of listening is much more likely to connect. What are you betting? <laughs> <laughs>